Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna run through the four most important segments to use for your D2C e-commerce brand on Klaviyo. Now, we're gonna run through a number of things here. The first thing we're gonna run through is how to segment. The second thing we're gonna run through is the core segments and how to actually build them out on Klaviyo as well. Now, it's really, really important to segment here because if you're not, if you're just blasting and batching to your entire list, you're gonna piss off your ESPs, your email service providers very quickly, which means you're gonna end up in spam. You're you're going to end up with a ton of unsubscribes and ultimately it's going to be a sad face you're not going to get as much revenue out of your email as you could so with that said let's dive in So the first things first, how do you actually segment? Now, just before we dive into that, what is a segment? So a segment is dynamic and it's a dynamic audience that is based off of people's behaviors or certain properties that they have versus a list where a list is static from either a CSV or a file you choose, or it could be people already in Klaviyo. This is not changing. It's people who opt into your list or it's a list that you've uploaded already. Okay, so how do you actually segment? The first thing that we wanna consider is consider people's level of intent. Now, the three things that we look at here are purchase engagement, which is highest intent, email engagement, which is mid intent, and website engagement, which is lowest intent. Within these, how we filter this out further is taking into account RFV, which is recency, i.e. did someone do this yesterday or did they do this a year ago? Frequency, which is have they done this once or have they done this 15 times? And value, which is, hey, did they spend $50 or $500? Now, iOS 15 has had some impacts on this, and basically what it means is you might have some inflated open rates, so just be mindful of that. Now, the definitions of recency, frequency, and monetary value should be customized for your specific business and for your specific niche. The reason for this is because if you're selling mattresses, for example, your frequency of purchase is gonna be a heck of a lot lower, and what might be considered high frequency might be radically different than someone who's selling supplements. So it's really, really important to consider this in the lens of your business. So here's some rough guidelines. Now, in terms of engagement, recent, we'd usually say within three months. Frequent, we would say three times or more. Uh, from a purchasing standpoint, we would say recent is within four months. Not so recent is within four to 13 months. And frequent would be three times or more. Uh, and high monetary value would be two to three times your average order value, or depending on your brand, just above your average order value. Okay, so now that we've determined how to segment, the next thing we wanna look at is the four core segments that you wanna use for your D2C brand. So the first one is the engaged all segment. The second is gonna be the VIP segment. The third is gonna be the win back. And the fourth is gonna be the sunset unengaged segment. So the first one here is the engaged all segment. Now, this is gonna be the segment you're gonna use probably the most in terms of uh, send frequency and really like these people should be receiving the vast majority of your campaigns. With all of these segments, we wanna consider RFV. So the recency for these guys is gonna be high. The frequency is gonna be low to mid. And the value is either gonna be non-existent, meaning they have purchased, or it's gonna be low. Our goal here is to get them to purchase. So I'm gonna dive in and show you exactly how to build this segment. I took a screenshot here, but I'm gonna show you how to build it out in Klaviyo. Okay, so if you don't know how to build out a segment, you just need to go into the list and segments tab on the left-hand side, click create list or segment. And then what you need to do is just select segment when it pops up. Right there, you gotta click on that. And then it's gonna prompt you to name your segment, give it a definition, and I'm gonna show you how we created the 90 day engaged all segment. So this is the 90 day engaged all segment. And basically what this looks like is people are active on the site at least once in the last 90 days, or they've clicked at least once in the last 90 days, or they've opened the email at least once in the last 90 days and if they can receive email marketing. Now it's really important to use the or function, which is the and function here, because we wanna be more inclusive here. And basically we wanna say, hey, you know what? If someone's either been active on the site or they've clicked the email or they've opened, we want them to be in this segment meaning we don't want to exclude someone if they've clicked an email, for example, but they haven't been active on the site. So some optional things that you can do here is number one, you can include only people who are on the newsletter list. And number two is creating a lead segment 
and a purchaser segment. And what this would look like is leads basically have the additional filter that they've placed an order zero times over all time. And the purchase would be has placed order at least once over all time. And this is important basically just to look at like, okay, well, do we want to send this message to people who have purchased before? Or do we want to send this message to people who haven't purchased before? A quick note before moving on to the VIP section is basically you want to start with a 60 day. And if you see open rates above 20%, you can expand beyond this. So go from like a 60 day to a 90 day. Uh, and if you don't see open rates above 20%, reduce from 60 day to a 30 day. Okay, so the next segment here is the VIPs. Now, in terms of RFV, we have high recency, high frequency, and high value. These people are the cream of the crop. You want to keep them happy, give them exclusive content or discounts and access. An optional condition here again is people who are on the newsletter list. And then the filters you want to include are has placed order at least X times in the last X weeks. Again, this depends on how consumable your product is. Again, going back to the mattress example, mattresses have a much longer life cycle than supplements, right? And then the last filter here is and revenue is more than X amount. The last actually filter here is if someone can receive marketing and they can't receive marketing. So again, I'll show you how to build this out on Klaviyo as well. And basically what it looks like on Klaviyo is this. So you've got placed order is greater than three times in the last 365 days. Uh, and then revenue is at least $300 over all time. So with this client, for example, they've placed an order at least three times in the last year and their revenue is at least 300. Now their AOV is about $90. So we said $300 just based off of some data and some research that we did for this brand. So some content that you can send these people are dibs on new releases, special discounts, free shipping, gifts with purchase, personalization. So it could be like thank you cards or emails or videos, exclusive content and exclusive access, i.e. like a private group or something like that. Okay, so the third segment that you're going to want to use is the win back segment. Now, RFV for these guys is low recency, low to mid frequency and low to mid value. Our goal here is to win them back. And these are people who basically purchased a while ago, but they haven't purchased since. Now, I'll show you exactly how to build this out in Klaviyo as well. So effectively, what we're looking at for the win back is if placed order at least once between 120 and 365 days, they haven't placed an order. So they placed order zero times in the last 120 days. These are kind of additional things that we want to add in just to make sure that people haven't refunded in the last 365 days or canceled their order in the last 365 days. And then the final one here is just they can receive email marketing. So some key notes with this segment is number one, really monitor open rates closely here. Unsubscribe rates should be under 3% and your spam complaint rates should be under 0.08%. Really, really important because these people are relatively unengaged. They haven't really purchased in a while and we're trying to re-engage them. So the fourth segment that we're going to want to use is the sunset unengaged. Now, this is the segment that I see people most frequently get wrong. Essentially, what we have here is people who have low recency, low frequency and low value or non-existent value. These are people who are unengaged and these are people who may be harming your email deliverability stats. So our goal here is to clean the account and remove them from the list. Either get them or be like, you know what? See you later. It's like a breakup, right? This segment should look like uh, effectively like a person person has received an email at least 10 times overall time, or you can do, you know, subscribe to the main list for 90 or 100 days. The main reason we're doing this is because we don't want people who just subscribed to get into this sunset flow. That would be the worst, right? So we want to make sure they've received at least 10 emails. Um, again, this asterisk here is because we want to determine based on your sending frequency and how frequently people should expect to receive emails. Like if you're sending every day and someone hasn't opened 10 emails, that might just mean they're on vacation right? And they might not have opened those 10 emails. If you're sending every, you know, two times a month, different story, right? So we can reduce that time horizon if you're sending less frequently. So effectively how this looks like built out in Klaviyo is when someone has received an email at least 50 times overall time, and this is for this client specifically, again, you, you kind of want to take a look at this yourself, opened an email zero times in the last 180 days, clicked an email zero times in the last 180 days, and they can receive email marketing. So again, our goal here is to get them off our list, keep the list clean and make sure we're only sending to people who are really engaged and really actually want to receive the emails we're sending. So hopefully this video helped. If you're not doing any segmentation yet, please make sure you're at least doing these to start. There's a lot of different segments that you could use and you can get really refined with this. But these are the four key segments that we would recommend using for any D2C brand.
Thanks so much for watching. And if you did like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. It does really help out a lot. And if you do have a D2C brand and you'd like our help, feel free to check out the links in the description below. For brands doing over $50,000 a month, you can apply to work with our agency. And for brands doing less than $50,000 a month, you can apply for our email mastery program.